Hello YouTube. I wanted to show you another addition I put on my Predator. Um, and so in addition to my bag that I have on the side was actually going to store my tools. I wanted to show you how that that cutoff switch, turn off switch works. So you turn it off, it just ran out of gas. Um, carburetor's clean. I'm ready for the next use. Um, if I have to turn it off, all I do is turn that stop switch at the top. So that's an addition that I put on there in my last video, um, just to let you know that uh, you know I'm thinking of uh, trying to save my carburetor from any stale fuel um, being stored up and everything. So um, that might be something you might want to think about. But what I want to show you today is that reel there that I got. Um, I'm not sure where I got that from. I don't know if it's Harbor Freight or where it was from, but um, I found it in my garage. It was a Christmas present, I'm assuming, a while back. It was still in a box. I uh, just never mounted it anywhere. But So I took some string, um, just experimenting a little bit, some 550 cord, and um, you know I did a trucker's hitch to the uh, rails to keep it tight. Um, I have it going through the... Um, the um, swivel eye that you hang it from your ceiling you know in the garage or basement or workshop whatever but I use that just to hold it um, and it's pretty tight um, there's not probably no give um, I came up with uh, my own little special trucker hitch um, I'll get more detail with that later this is just a wad of string that I had left um, but I got this certain way where it's self-tightening, um, as you can see how tight it is. Um, you don't have to worry about it coming loose. And I use that on a lot of my stuff that I haul, uh, when I tie down things. Um, and I can show you a video on that one day, but, uh, right now I just want to show you what I did. So this reel here, actually this is a 30 foot cord. Um, so this is, um, get that sawdust out of there. So uh, this is actually is something I thought about because uh, I got tired of unwinding cord all the time, bringing it out and trying to hook it up to my generator when I'm working on wood projects and stuff. And uh, it was just a you know pain in the butt. So I thought there's got to be a better way to instead of me bringing um, the cord all the way out to the generator to the, my machine, I can just. Uh, pull this out to my machine which is a lot better because as you can see you know it's you know this isn't full strength length it's 30 30 foot but you can see that I can have this in a well ventilated area and still run my cord you know inside or whatever I need to do and when I'm done I just snap it And let it reel itself back in just like that so you know and if you wanted to run it under this to come out right here I mean you could but I think this is fine um, just something I'm thinking about um, that may help some of other people you don't have to worry about trying to run an extension cord out to your generator you can just you know bring your cord from your generator to your project and uh, you know that just may help a little bit, saving some people time um, and doing things. But uh, alrighty, well I just want to show you my little setup there. I thought that was a good idea. Um, you know I would like to come up with something to make make it more permanent. Um, but this works right now because I can actually you know take it off if I want to. It's not a big deal. Um, you know I thought about putting a strap or something on there, but uh, I think this is fine. And. Uh, so anyway, that's my cable, my lock. When I've got it outside running, I can tie it around a tree or something like that, or a pole, so uh, it won't get stolen. But anyway, thank you very much, and uh, have a good day. 